Hello, Nicole McGuirk here with the August class for Celebrate Your Seasons here at twopeasinabucket.com. This month's class we're going to work on summer vacation layouts and here is the sketch for this month which has room for up to 10 photos. The first thing I did was I die cut some letters out of the Ranger uh, sticky back canvas from, um, oh, from Ranger like I said. And I'm going to paint the letters using the Tim Holtz crackle paint. And I'm using the vintage photo paint right here. I already painted a few of the letters with the fired brick crackle paint. And I'm just giving each of the letters a really good coat. And then I'm picking them up with a craft knife and moving them a little bit. I'm working on the craft mat that is also from Ranger. It just cleans up really easily. And I like to do any inking or painting or whatever right on the craft mat. So I'm painting some of the letters with the vintage photo, like you see here. I painted some with fired brick. And then the remaining letters I'm going to paint with the antique, antique linen crackle paint. And I'm just making sure that I have a really good um, layer of paint on there so that it crackles really nicely. And then I just set my letters to the side so that they air dry really well. Um, I find that the crackle paint works better if you let it air dry. So I set those aside and I'm going to work on the rest of the layout. And you can see here that I've already adhered all 10 of my photos right to my cardstock background. And then I have die cut several borders using my Silhouette die cutting machine and I'm going to adhere those to the space up above the photos, in between the photos, and then below the photos. And I did this, I originally thought I might just use some pattern paper and I couldn't find exactly what I wanted to go with my photos. And I came across these fun border die cuts um, for my silhouette and so I decided to kind of create my own pattern, uh, pattern paper using the die cuts. And you can kind of see it coming together here. It looks really nice when it's all finished. Plus, it, it adds an embellishment to my page so that I don't really have to add a whole lot more embellishment after I add these borders. So I'm just going to continue um, layering these borders because I, I cut a solid strip and then one that had cutouts and then I layered them and adhered them to my page like that. And some of the strips are a little bit shorter so there's going to be a little bit of overlap that I'll show here in a little bit or you'll see on the finished page. Then this is another die cut from my silhouette and they have a whole line of these um, state or country tags, cutout tags. And so I used the Colorado one since this is where we went one year for a little summer getaway for a few days. And these are really nice. They you can resize them to whatever you need and they look cute over photos or on their own. So I'm just gonna adhere that over one of my photos that has a lot of these photos were pretty similar and I thought this would be a nice contrast to that. Plus the photo next to it has that nice kind of light space in it so you can read the word Colorado really easily. I'm just going to add another border here and um, for a list of all of the borders and the styles that I use, that'll be at twopeasinabucket.com under this month's class. And there's what that uh, Colorado tag looks like layered over the photo. Okay, now I've added, finished adding all my borders. I printed some journaling on my page and I also added a little machine stitching just to, you know, add to the uh, borders a little bit. And now I've die cut these open squares, and I just need to pop out a couple of these that didn't come all the way off on my cutting mat. And I'm going, I cut this out of the same color of cardstock as my background. I just wanted to add a little texture, but didn't really want anything too colorful. So I cut a couple of these because they weren't quite long enough for what I wanted. And then I'll just kind of trim them and piece them together and adhere it right there on the left side of my layout. And there's what it looks like adhered. Adds a really nice texture to the page. 
and my letters are dry now that I painted at the at the start of this project. You can kind of see it there. They curl up a little as they dry, but you can just kind of work them with your fingers and lay them out flat. There you can see the crackle really good on that red one. And then I'm just going to peel off the paper on the back of the letters and adhere them right to my layout. It's really nice that they already have adhesive on them. Makes it easy to create your own letters and titles out of using a die cut machine or punches or something like that. So here, here I'm just working it with my finger, flattening it a little bit, flattening it back out before I adhere it. And the crackle texture is another thing that, it's, although it's very subtle, it really adds to the theme of my page. So I'm going to continue adhering the title here. And then I'm ready to add the rest of the embellishments to my layout. Um, I also die cut this little flourish swirl here um, using my silhouette. And I cut it from some gold metallic paper from Making Memories. I added an October afternoon sticker, so it kind of says Colorado Road Trip um, up there on the uh, right side of the page. And then here on the left side of the page, I added another cutout um, letters with my uh, silhouette, used a honey script font to cut out cliff dwellings, and then I used some spray adhesive to adhere those right there above my other die cut letters to finish that off. And then I added a couple of antique bronze photo turns just to complete the look. Okay, where I've added this little uh, swirl flourish here, I wanted to add just a little bit more journaling. So I took this label sticker from um, an October afternoon uh, roadmap sticker sheet and I cut out the whole thing and then I adhered it right to my piece of paper on my printer. And if you remove the sticker, you can see I ran it through my printer on the plain piece of paper first, my journaling, to make sure it worked, fit. Then if when I um, removed the sticker, you could kind of see through the sticker backing sheet, and I could see my placement really well. So I saw that was going to work. I put my sticker back on, right on that um, the sticker sheet, ran it through my printer, and it printed perfectly. And then I can adhere it right to my layout. And what I liked was some of my photos left enough room that I could add some embellishment right over the photos. It adds just a little interest to the page. For more information and the supplies used for creating this page, please visit twopeasinabucket.com and visit the message board post on the education board for to see other people's layouts and to ask questions. Thanks for watching.